Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I'd show you all my completed pages of July 2021 and also my empties and my current whips. So we're going to look at my empties first and I'm also going to talk about next month's colour along at the end of the video. So if you would like to know that, just wait till the end of the video. So here are my empties. I've got quite a bit this month. I've got I'm just gonna take them off there. I've got a sky blue in the elite markers. I've got a do not pronounce that. Thumpro blue in the old elite markers. I got 44 fresh green in the old old markers set. Got a green grey in the elite markers set. Got the new elite markers and this is black which is the old completely dried up guys. This one is pale green in elite marker and that's the old set. This is pale cherry pink in the old set of elite markers. I got another one of them. A blue grey in the old elite marker set. And a deep red in the old elite marker set. I've got rose beige in the new elite marker set and fruit pink in the new elite marker set they've all dried out on me guys so that's all my empties for this month just throwing them in the bin uh, we're gonna look at my whips first and then we're gonna do my completed pages so as you guys know, I've done my completed book collection, colouring and um, series on my channel. And as you guys know, I've got a lot of whips. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys all of them. And I'm definitely going to focus mostly on my whips next month. So this one is Cheever Gales Two Books in One by Jade. Some of the grayscale one. And I've got this whip going on. So all I need to do really is just do the ship and do the little bits and bobs on it. Shouldn't take me too long to do. But that is Grayscale Cheap Girls. And they're all my prompts. <laughs> The next whip I have is from Greatest Hit 100 Best Colour and Pages by Jade Summer. And it is this one here from Costume Cats. As you guys can see, I'm doing like a dark blue outfit for him. And then I'm probably going to do like a cream house or something. So it's mainly focusing on him. It shouldn't take me that long to do. Oh, 20 whips and that's just because I've done my um, collection that I found all the whips that I have this one is Fantasy Collection Volume 2 by Jade Summer and my current whip is this one right here I just got a little bit to do left and then she's pretty much done I nearly finished this book guys, I'm definitely going to try and complete it by times next month if I have time with all these whips. The next one is Worlds of Wonder by Joanna Rossford. You guys know if you've followed me for the most time that this page here we're working on together. And I'm definitely going to do colour and chats as of this book. Next month, I'm definitely going to complete this page. 
and then I'll probably move on to something else um but yeah this has been my forever ever ever whip but it's getting there next month I'm definitely going to focus solidly on this page here so it should be all done and dusted by the end of next month that's world of wonder by joanna basford i'm just going to pop that one to the side so i don't actually forget it because there's so many whips so i end up piling them all on and then i can't find it this one as well circle of life and we are doing the b page this one right here I'm doing this page only for the bees. I was going to do both of them, but I want to do just this one. So I haven't got that much left to do. And I'm definitely going to do colour and chat out of this page here. And then that shouldn't take that long to do. The next whip I've got going on is from kawaii girls grayscale 100 pages four books in one by jade summer and it's this one she's so close to getting complete but i've been really like busy doing like videos and stuff like that so i haven't really been time to like finish my whips off guys i've been really like wanting to as well she hasn't got that much to do she's got just the bushes in the background and like just leaf work really she hasn't got that much left to do that is Kawaii Girls, a grayscale, 100 pages, 4 books and 1 by Jade Summer. The next one is from the A to Z colouring book. And I am doing this page. As you guys can see, I've just like started this page. got like this one left to do i haven't got that much left to do on this one so it wouldn't take me that long to do hopefully i get all these done by next month and then, and then the whole month thing will be like on a lot of pictures done this one's from adult coloring book by deco time and this is my current whip i really hate it but i'm gonna try and fix it <laughs> i'm just trying to fix it well i like I hate, I hate the colours I've chosen, but I'm just going to like fix it up and then hopefully it'll be out the way and I'll be happy. The next whip I have is from Tropical Colouring and this is by Centum. And my whip is this page here. So I should have done this this month to be honest guys because of all like the summer. But I'm just going to, I think going to do this one next month. I'm going to try my best to complete most of these guys. The next one's from Imagine Morphia by Kaylee Roseanne. And I completely forgot I had this as a whip. So I'm going to focus on this one as well. I'm going to do a lot of like pencil work next month I think guys. The next one is from Toy Story 4 colouring book. And I started this one as soon as this movie came out. Like I don't know how long ago that was. I think it was like... 2019 i got this book 2019 so it's been a whip for a couple of years so i'm just gonna finish it off and be happy because i hasn't got that much to do so a lot of these whips haven't got that much to do but i've kind of like forgot i had them so the next one is alice in wonderland coloring book this is one of my very first ever coloring books i ever had and i started this one and I just never got round to finishing it. But I think I will fin I will try and finish most of these next month. And that was the Alice in Wonderland colouring book. And they are by Buster Activity. 
This one is from Kawaii Grayscale Coloring Book. I was meant to do this page here this month, guys, but I haven't got round to doing it at all. Um, just been a very busy month and that. And I also have this as a whip in here. As you guys can tell, I haven't got that much left to do on here. But them two shouldn't take that long to do. I might even do a colour and chat from this page here. So, I might do. But as I said, I'm focusing mainly on um, Circle of Life and join the Basswoods World of Wonder next month for the colour and chats. The next one is a literal forever whip. This is like a whip I need to finish. And it's this page here. I've only got a little bit left to do here. I really have, but I don't know why I'm not going back to just colouring that in, but I will do eventually. I'm going to get most of these done next month because I'm focusing mainly on them. The next one's Colour Beauty and this is on a small book. And I started this one. I hate hair skin but I started this. Problem is I can't remember what colours I use for her hair and the hair is still not complete. So I'm going to have to try and match up as closely as I possibly can to her hair. And then do a hat and a top and then she's done and lips and that but then she's done and that was colour beauty the next one is joyful colour and it's this little fishy here trying to make him look like flounder and this has been a whip forever to be honest these are so cute these books though guys they really really are this joyful colour the next one I have been trying to complete and it is Keep Calm and Colour Unicorns and I started the unicorn ages ago and I'm just colouring it all in sparkly glitter gel pen as you guys can see it's going to look flawless so yeah I'm just colouring in this page and then I'm probably going to colour in that page. But the problem is with the this type of paper, it's going through to the other side. So it's kind of making me a bit disheartened. But it looks cool. <laughs> and that was Keep Calm and Colour Unicorns. The next whip I have is from Art Therapy Colouring Book. And I started this one. I don't even know how long ago and I just haven't come back to it at all I just don't like the sun at all but I'm just gonna finish it off because I'm one of them people I cannot just leave it uncolored even if I hate it I'm, I'm gonna have to try and fix it and maybe I might like it eventually maybe I won't well, it's just gonna be one of them isn't it the next one is a huge colouring book and it's Pixar colouring fun pad and the whip I have in here is Sully out of Monsters Inc. Because I did Mike right here, but he yellowed a little bit and kind of ruined this page here. So I thought I'd call him in Sully and I just haven't come back to it at all. I think it's because of the background, but I will I will eventually get to it. I will definitely get to it eventually. The next one is from Playtime Colour and Fun and it's just this little cute little picture here that I started ages ago. It probably was, yep, 2019 when I started this one. And I also got another one in here which is this one as well. Which as you guys can see is not that much to do and I don't know why I just haven't finished it to but I will eventually do more. This one is Superheroes and Villains Super Colouring Book. And this is by Alligator Books. I think. 
and I started hair skin and I don't know what I use for hair skin so I'm just gonna have to go a bit darker on the skin and um, I started this one as well I love how this one's looking I just need to like make it more thicker color like more pigmented and it's also got this one as well and I know exactly what colors to do him so if you hear any noises that's just my tail in the background they always come alive when I record the next one is color anti-stress apple coloring book enchanted worlds and I have this whip here and I might just make that all like glittery or something like the lines all glittery because I started colouring it like a dark green and it just it doesn't look nice at all guys but I will definitely try and finish it definitely definitely with all these whips I'm definitely going to complete some of them the next one is my giant colouring book and I started this one ages ago I just haven't got back to it at all this book is adorable though. the next one is from stress coloring book and this was my very first ever adult coloring book i bracket that as adult because it's just patterns and stuff guys so this one is a whip i've had for ages so is this one and this one is like my testing page so whenever I had like testing colours and stuff like that I just use this page here I'm nearly completely stuff book as well the next one is my fun colouring book and I have this one as a whip in here so I might like just change the shoes a bit into like glittery or something and I don't know guys just, I, I don't know she's just me yeah. anyway <laughs> most of my whips are like me yeah. about but I don't like the look of them this one is my monsters and aliens coloring book and this is the whip I have in here I'm nearly I've nearly done this page I don't know why I haven't completed it to be honest and that is my Monsters and Aliens colouring book. The next whip I have is from Colour by Number 70 Cartoon Characters. And it is this one of the Genie. I'm currently colouring also this book. So, did all my whips so far, guys. But now I'm going to show you my completed pages and I'm starting off with the same book and it is this page here I completed in July 2021 of course the 24th and I used Elite Markers and some Sharpie and on the 27th of July, I completed Corella de Vil and I did hair on the 27th of July and I used Elite Markers, Touch Markers and Sharpies. That's all I'm using in this book, to be honest, guys. I've got like my little thing. This is like my go to bed book. I can put it on my bedside and just colour out of it when I just want a bit of colouring to do. The next one is from Chibi Horror Grayscale Colouring Book and I did this one in a colouring chat with you guys and I just love how she turned out and I used Elite Markers and a bit of Glitter Gel Pen and some Metallic Gel Pen and I did here on the 17th of July. That was Grayscale Colouring Book Chibi Horror by Jane Summer. The next one, or next ones, is from Best 
Land Glam Classiques by Hatchet Heroes and I did the Witch, the Evil Queen from Snow White and instead of using a black pencil I used a black biro pen or a writing pen I'm going to show you guys what I mean I used one of these like just the writing pen and I found these in the pound shop in the UK you get like eight of them in a pack for the pound so I thought I'd just use them and the black as well and they don't bleed through at all or don't leave anything but because I'm very heavy handed it's like give it a bit of like a crease a little bit but I don't mind that at all I really don't mind that but I use my Zender colour pencils and a paper paper mat pen for the outline same thing with this one, I used Zender colour pencils and then Biros and I did the Witch on the 11th and I did this one on the 13th. I absolutely love this book guys, absolutely love it. So that was Best of Land God Classics by Hatchet Hero. The next one is Light and Dark Fantasy Grayscale by Jade Summer and I did this one. I love her. She's my favourite favorite in this book so far. I used glitter gel pens, elite markers and touch markers in this page and I did her on the 14th. I've nearly completed this book, which I'm happy about because this is one of my top 10 to complete for the year. And that's Light and Dark Fantasy by Jade Summer. The next one is from Large Print, Colour by Number, Christmas. And I did this one on the 13th of July. And this was my Christmas in July page. I'm just working my way through this book. And that was Large Print Colour by Number Christmas by Sunlight Drawing. The next one is 101 Unique Mandalas by Camille Andrakova. And I did this one. I picked three random colours out of my little bag that I have and it was a dark yellow, a light grey and like a skin tone and I was like oh, they look really ugly together, I was like they look absolutely ugly together and then I coloured this image in and I absolutely love it, it's one of my favourite images that I've ever coloured, it's so pretty. This one I did on the 6th of July and I'm just working my way through this book so the next one will be this one. I might do I might do more, might not do more the next one because I've got so many whips to get through. The next one is oh no, this is the last one actually guys. The last one of this month is Chibi Girls Colouring Book Volume 1 by April Amber. And I did this one as a colouring chat on my channel and I did this one on the 6th of July. So there are all my completed pages and whips. For next month I'm thinking of doing a hashtag for like facing your fears, like face your fears in August. That's what I'm going to call it, face your fears in August. What that means is if you have like a image of like a phobia you have like clowns or like spiders or something and you're always like Ugh, I don't like them at all but like in colouring books you can colour them in or 
if you have like a really detailed page that you're really scared to do just have a little go at that for this month that's what i'm thinking of doing like detail pages and stuff like i'm afraid of and stuff like that so if you guys would like to do that it's hashtag facial fears in august that's the hashtag for next month and the video for the hashtag for chibi cute chibi storm 2021 that'll be the next video i'm going to post for you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that thumbs up button subscribe turn the notification bell on don't forget to follow my instagram and my facebook group page on the description down below and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys